Hey y'all, it's me Roxy G. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be a review video for my Louis Vuitton Retiro NM in Noir. So first, let's talk about the exterior of the bag. So this is 34 centimeters in length, 26 centimeters in height, and 18 centimeters in width. And as you can see, it is a combination of the monogram canvas and a leather trim. So as for the Retiro, I believe the black, uh, red and Vachetta combination are uh, permanent while uh, it differs on the season and they come out with another um, color selection for the leather trim and I forgot if this is cowhide or like a calf skin um, leather trimmings and as you can see it, it has its own key clochette wherein you will attach your key for your padlock and uh, the hardware for this bag are all in gold and also on the bottom you have four feet and you may feel that it kind of has its own uh, base shaper and also this bag is made of different pieces of monogram canvas so none of each side are inverted as to compare to our usual speedies or speedy bandolier uh, bags also it has a provided long strap and it has uh, five holes for your adjustment as um, for your comfort while you're using it as a crossbody or as a shoulder strap and this is a double zipper opening bag and in the interior you have microfiber lining so here you can see the made in stamp so it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and below that you have your two small interior pockets and one side has um, its deering and on the other side you have a bigger pocket and the rest is just a big black hole so um, I only want to raise like two points uh, for this bag and the first one would be the strap and I find it so long while I was using it as a handheld bag a handheld bag meaning not in the crook of my arm but while I was carrying it through its handle so I find it so long and as for reference I am 163 cm or like 53 and whenever I'm using it as a handheld bag I usually hear uh, this buckle uh, click clacking on the floor so what I usually do was or what I will usually do is I just stuck uh, stuck this um, strap in between the handle so it won't reach the floor so while I was carrying it as a handheld bag, while I was walking, I can hear like the buckle reaching the floor. So it kind of annoys me. So I tucked it in between the handle. So the next one is the stress point of the bag. So if you are familiar with the Speedy Bees, uh, well, with the Speedy Bees from sizes 25 to 40, you can see that there is like a big piece of leather trimming or a vachetta trim which is sewn twice on the side of the speedy bandolier and I think that is the support or that is where uh, the stress point of the bag and it carries the whole entire weight of the bag so going back to this one this is like a speedy 35 and measurement so um, we can pack a lot uh, inside this bag and it will gain some weight and I've noticed it because uh, I've used this bag like twice or thrice as my traveling bag so when you are traveling we carry so much stuff that we might need and we might know we need it so I just place everything inside here and it gain weight and I've noticed that this is um, where the stress point of the bag and it was kind of heavy and I've noticed that it stretched the bag kind of like this and the only support for the whole weight even though it kind of has its own base, base shaper but still it is heavy is this uh, smaller um, piece of uh, leather trim which is like sewn with more than maybe around like more than 10 stitches here and it is so small for my observation knowing the bag is like a speedy 35 as to compare as to sizes I believe they should have like made it a little bit bigger for as a support for the whole weight of the entire bag and as you can see um, it kind of looks like this uh, distorted on the side and this one is like super stretched and stressed out with because of the weight and it kind of looks like this while you're carrying it 
as a um, shoulder shoulder bag with the use of the strap of course and um, it also kind of looks like this if ever you're carrying it as a crossbody bag and if you fill it with so much stuff this will be super like stretched but for everyday bag I don't really see any difference uh, with with uh, both sides being stressed out or something like that but anyways um, this is a very chic bag considering the color combination of like golds and black and brown as well um, it can be as casual it can be and it can reach to like a formal corporate event as well so if you have any questions with regards to the bag you can leave it down below and I would gladly answer them for you again please do follow me on Instagram at it's me Roxy underscore G once again thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video bye